Hello and welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. And on screen we have a puzzle by none other than Fistemafell. This has just come out on Logic Masters Germany. Uh, it sounds a fairly extraordinary construction just from the uh, instructions. Um, so this is the puzzle I'm going to try and solve for you today in today's video. A couple of other things to mention first. Let me find my, my list. Um, our patron reward puzzle for June is up. Uh, so if you are um, supporting the channel on Patreon, then you should be able to play that. We did an Olympic uh, an Olympic Sudoku, uh, which we're quite proud of actually. It's a very nice puzzle, so do check that out. Um, also, amazingly, uh, there's been an article on the BBC about us today. Um, so they've made a, a short video introducing the channel, um, and I'll put a link under the video for any of you who might be interested in watching that. Um, we've been fascinated today to see that it's one of the most watched things on the BBC website, which is just bizarre. Um, anyway, let us talk about this puzzle, which is a snake egg Sudoku. Now, I, I have done a snake egg puzzle once on the channel before, and I think it was a puzzle by Murat. Um, and it was an amazing puzzle, but it was it had nothing to do with Sudoku at all. But what Fistemafell has done here is he said, right, normal Sudoku rules apply. Additionally, a snake has to be drawn into the grid. The head and tail of the snake are in the two cells with the grey circles. The snake may not touch itself orthogonally, but can touch itself diagonally. The rest of the cells without the snake form exactly eight areas, one of each size from one to eight. Such an area of size n contains each of the digits from one to n exactly once. Now that is quite, quite extraordinary. So sort of hidden in this normal Sudoku grid are irregular Sudoku shapes of different sizes that define a shape. Uh, or define not only a shape but also a snake. Um, I've got no clue how to do this so the best thing to do in these circumstances is just to plough straight in I think. Um, do have a go, click on the link under the video to play along and uh, with that let's get cracking and have a think about how on earth we start this puzzle. So I can see I can pencil mark some nines in up here and threes into one of those two cells oopsie um, not seeing much else ah, nines have got to be in one of those two cells and that's no use at all. Nines have got to be down there somewhere. Let me read the rules again. The snake, the rest of the snake from exactly eight areas, each of the size one to eight, contains each of the digits. Ah, right, sorry. Okay, so now, now I have understood something about the puzzle. We've got areas that are not snake have a maximum digit in them of the number eight because they can only be up to the size eight. So all nines in the grid must be snakes. Oh goodness, so that's huge. Um, we can instantly look, all of those squares have got to be snake. I'll make them purple. So purple is gonna be snake. I'll make blue, blue not snake. I'm consciously, uh, I'm conscious that, that people struggle with some of the color schemes we use. So I'm trying to avoid red and green. Um, hopefully purple and blue will be all right. So, right, okay, now let's have a look. This is the head of a snake. So this square can't possibly be snake because if it is, this, this cell here is no longer the head of the snake. It's simply a part of the snake. Um, let's undo that. So this is blue. Same for this square, exactly the same logic. We need to maintain the integrity of the snake's head. Um, that square can't be snake now either because that's too, uh, would require the snake to turn back on itself and it would then connect to its, itself orthogonally. This square, 
also can't be snake. Actually, loads of this can't be snake. That can't be snake, can it? Because again, if it comes in there, it's going to have to turn and it's going to be touching itself orthogonally in lots of positions. So that can't be snake. Um, just give me a second. Right, yes, look, this purple, this purple cell here, is, it's gone into a corner. And nobody puts a nine in the corner, apart from Fistimafel, it seems, but that means that we can do that to get it out of the corner. This cell must be blue, otherwise it's going to be orthogonally connected to its... Uh, um, the snake is going to orthogonally touch itself. And what now? It's quite an interesting start already though, isn't it? So we've got quite a big region here. So this is a... So this region, which is of size 5, and it could be as high as size 8, definitely has to have the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in it, and possibly more digits than that. Right, okay, now that that is interesting straight away, because where do we put a 2 in this blue region? It can't be this 2. Because if we try and join this two to this blue region, this snake is going to have a very short life or, or a very short span. So, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so there's only two places that it can get its two from. It's either got to be this two or it could be that square if this is an eight cell region. Oh, no, that doesn't work. No, it doesn't. Uh, that doesn't work because of the snake shape. So let me just show you that. Um, if that's blue, the snake, you can see it's going to have to take this square because otherwise this region is of size nine and it can't be. So but if the snake takes that square, it has to turn and hit itself there. So that doesn't work. So in fact, what we can say is that this two is in the blue region. That now this square must be in the blue region because otherwise it's going to be the head of the snake if the, if the snake can't go in there because it can't get out. So that's so now we've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cell blue region. So this is either the seven or the eight cell blue region. Now it could look at that. It could take that one perhaps and become an eight cell region. Is there any problem with it doing that? And the answer to that is... Uh, uh, no, yeah, well, sort of. The answer to that is that this is not blue, but it's because, it's not because of this square, it's because of the snake. Now, watch what happens if the snake turns there. If this snake takes the two there, you can see now that this cell, this cell here has got to be blue. Now, once that square is blue, we've now got an eight cell region here. So this is the total size of this region. It's got eight cells. It needs to contain an eight and it can't because of this eight here. This eight rules out every single cell. So I think this has to go down. That doesn't actually resolve whether this is an eight cell region or not, but it does help us with the snake. So the snake goes down, it turns, it can't hit itself, so it keeps going. And it comes over to here. And now it does what? It So it could go up there. It mustn't attach to the other end. Ah, 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 look at that. I, this square can't be snake, can it? Because if this is a snake cell, the four is either going to take this cell or this cell. So it's going to connect to the eight. 
and it's going to connect up either by coming from the south or the east. And therefore, once it's done that, the south and east sort of borders are fit. You can't, you can't, the snake can't re-enter those places or it'll touch itself orthogonally. So the snake's only exit will be to come either north or west. But in doing that, it will connect here. So however we do this, the snake is too short. It's never going to collect any of these regions, which we know are part of the snake. And in fact, uh, so if it, if the snake, if the snake doesn't have regions from one to eight in size, then it doesn't have 36 cells. So it does have 45 cells. So the snake must have 45 cells. And we know that um, because obviously the t total size of the Sudoku is 81 cells. So, so it's quite impossible for it to only be about eight cells long. Now, um, so this square has to be blue. Oh, this is, this guy, this guy is so clever. It's just every time you do his puzzles, you just think, oh, you're just so, so blooming clever. The, how many eights in this puzzle are not part of the snake? Well, the answer is one, because there's only one eight cell region. So that eight cell region has to have a blue eight in it. All the other eights have to be snake. And now we've got our blue blue eight that isn't part of a snake. So that cell is snake. That means those two cells are snake. That's not snake. This must come upwards. Uh, that's got to extend up. Ah, now that allows us look. we can place blues in those two. Oh, now look, I can do a trick with the nines because the nines, these nines, you can't put a nine off uh, that isn't on the snake. So this can't be a nine. So the nine is in one of those two cells. That is not a nine. This is a nine and it's got to be part of the snake. Oh, look, we're getting so close to telling whether this goes up or that way. It could, it could still go like this and then come back over the top and down. Or it could just go up here and then over here. That's got to be blue, though. I already love this puzzle. This puzzle is what an idea. Fistimafel keeps taking these sort of logic uh, pencil puzzle, um, logic puzzles like Spiral Galaxies, and then imposing Sudoku rules on them. And they're, he's just making the most elegant puzzles you could possibly imagine. I've got, I've got something else. This blue region is size seven. This eight region is size eight. So all the other regions that are not snake in the puzzle only contain the digits one to six as a maximum. This eight can't reach that square. So this seven has to be snake. How cool is that? that that's blue. Now, what does this do now? It's got to go either like that or like that or like that. It'll be a... No. It's important, I think, to remember that every, everything's got to have a one in it somehow. So like this one here, ruling out a one from those two squares. Oh yeah, now in fact, just wondering, I'm wondering about this square. If that square is snake, 
The snake has to do that because it goes into the corner and turns. And now this blue region which needs to have a 2 in it, can't have a 2 in it, can it? Because the snake obviously has to connect somehow to this. So it's either going to do that or it's going to do that. That's the only two things it can do. But either way, the 2 in this blue region is locked into column 7 and column 8, where it can't be. So this does not do that. This square is blue. Ah, now that that is interesting because well this size this region is size 7 already so this can't be blue because if it's blue that creates a 7 cell region as oh and i suppose that could no can't this if this is blue this can't be part of the 8 cell region because then it would have 9 cells good grief so this square is is snake and and it's in a corner therefore that's not snake this comes up um sorry sorry guys let me just have a stare at this two's actually got to be over there look in this box because of the twos down here the nine has to be on the snake so the nine goes there now the question that we've got to grapple with is is this is this region here a six cell region or is it a five cell region? If it's a five cell region, we can instantly place the one on it. I feel like it'd be very helpful if I knew that wasn't a one or if, even if, it, if I knew it was a one, that would also be helpful. Um, it's got to be a nine over there. Ah, what is it I'm not spotting here? I feel right on the cusp of having... like seeing something reasonably intelligent. Um, so if this goes up and comes this way, it has to continue to here. And then it can't come up. No, that doesn't work, does it? So if this goes up here, it actually has to miss out both of these two squares. And then this is a seven cell region, which it can't be. So this is a five cell region. This is a one. These squares have got to be two, four, and five. And the two must go here. This is a four, five pair. These two squares have got to be snake now. Good grief. And we can't let the snake branch. If this becomes snake, this... The snake is branching, it's going off in two different directions. So that that's not going to work. So it must now turn, come over here. This region here is a size three. And that must be the two. We need to put a two in it. This is one and three. We can put the three in it. That's a one. These two, ah, that's an eight by Sudoku. This is a six. This is an eight. The head of the snake is an eight now, or the tail of the snake, if you prefer. That one's an eight. This region, which is of size seven, needs to have a six in it. Where does the six go? It can only go here. That three plonks a three there, look. This square's got to be a four or a five to complete the column. One must be in one of those two squares. And uh, Ah, no, hang on, hang on. That square, I was wondering about how this continued. If this turns up like that, it creates a one cell region. That one cell region would have to have a one in it. It can't. So that that does not do that. This this has to be blue. 
this has to continue. That can't be a one either. That can't be a one because of this one. So this must also continue. This must continue. Now that now there's a one on the snake. And there, there can only be one one on a snake. Because all the rest of the ones must join the, the areas of size one to eight. There's only one on a snake. Only one one on a the snake you know what I mean um, so this this is a one now Th if there's only one one on a snake this now can't be a one this must be a one this must be a one this one here can't be snake anymore that's got to be blue the snake therefore goes up there and doesn't go there Good grief. Uh, so what re ah, I've got a one two region now. So this thi this region can't be of size two. You can see that anyway, there's a two there. So this has to go again. This has to come out here. It can't be of size three. There's a three region. It's got to go again. And we've got a five. Ah, now, ah, that's interesting. Look, if this takes another cell and becomes a five region, it can't stop there. So it would have to come here and become an eight cell region, which it can't be. The eight cell region is down there. So this stops there. That's as far as it goes. This has got to be a three or a four because it can't be a two. These two squares are two, three, and four. One of them is a two. These two squares are both blue. So what regions have I got now? I've not got the one region. I've got the two, I've got the three, I've got the four, five, the eight down here, the seven here. Right, so I need a six region and a one region. So this is a six region. Ah, um, yeah, look, look, this is a six region. And it needs to therefore have a one in it. Where does the one go? Well, it can't go in row five because of the one here. So it's got to take its one. The one can't be here. So the one must be in one of those two cells. Which means that... Oh, it can't be here. Because if it's here, it, it'll go like that and create a cul-de-sac for, for the snake again. I nearly called it a train then, but you know what I mean. There we go. That's got to be that's got to be snake. This is a one. This has got to be bordered orthogonally by snake. How? How? This is blue. This comes out. This continues. It mustn't touch itself orthogonally. It bends backwards on itself. That mustn't be snake, otherwise it branches. This it must this is blue. Oh, oh, it's still not. Is that got to be the one then? Because I've not. I still haven't got the one. Yeah, this is going to be the one. So it's going to have to go like that and like that. And then hopefully that blue region there is size eight. And it is. That is the shape of the snake. Ta da! Um, goodness me. So these squares are four, five, and seven now. Oh, so I can write. Oh dear, I could have written that one in. That's a six. Uh, these squares are... F oh, they're four, five, and seven as well. Four, five, and seven. That's not four. Uh... Ah, now, here's something interesting. This nine... We know nines are all on the snake, so where does the nine go in box four here? It must be in one of those two cells. That means that can't be nine, and the nine is in that cell. Those two squares have got to be five and six. Ah, 
Ah, now, hang on. Look, this region is of size 6, so it cannot contain a 7. So where does the 7 go in row 4? Only there. And whatever this cell is, is going to be matched exactly in that cell. That's sort of a, an irregular Sudoku technique. You can see if that's a 4, this shape has to have a 4 in it. So the only place it could go would be there. And the same logic works with the 5. That gives a 4-5 pair look in those squares. So now these have got to be 6, 7, 8, and 9. This, these two can't be 9. That one can't be an 8 either. place the one in there. I should have just done that, but I don't think it's going to really advance the solve very much. So we've almost actually done all of the regions and pence. We haven't looked at this region. Six and three, they're interesting. Look, we've got sixes and threes in two different rows. So only, I think only those two squares in this region can be the digits six and three. So two, four, five, seven. It's two, five, or seven there. Oh, three here. That can't be a three. So the three is going to be in one of those two cells. That fixes the six. Fixes the three over here. This can't be three anymore. This has got to be a 7, look, because it can't be a 6 anymore. So there must be a 7 in one of those two cells. And uh, this 6 here shifts a 6 into one of those two cells which means one of these two cells has to be a six. Two, three, four, five. So that's got to be a two, four, or a five, I think. Oh, oh, hang on. Where does two go in column five? There's two here, two, ah, uh, in fact, just two there. So the two, Two must be in one of those two cells over on that side. That places a two here. That means this ah, that means this square isn't a two. It sort of rebounds back on itself. So the two is in the head or tail of the snake. There's got to be a two down there somewhere. Oh, four five pair there. So this square, which has to be a 3, 4, or a 5 from the column, can only be a 3. That's a 4 then. That's a 2. That's a, that's a 3. That's a 3 by Sudoku. That's not 2. This, this has to be a 2. So this has to be a 2. This has to be a 5. That's a 6. That's a 5. That's four, that's a five, four, five, four. Five, six into those two squares. I can probably figure that out. Let me just stare at it for a second. Um, oh, I'm sure you can. I just can't see how to do it. And I don't like having long pauses in the videos where I come to a grinding halt so I'm just going to carry on pencil marking I can 7 8 there 7 8 here 4 6 9 there that can't be a 4 look um, three, oh, 3 must be here by Sudoku this squares 5 or a 7 this square must be 5 Oh, five or eight. Uh, yes, there's a seven there. I was just wondering where that pencil marking came from. Five, seven. So there's got to be 
four, five. So this is a four or a five, is it? I think. And this is four, five or seven. And that should be, ah, oh, that can't be four. So this five, seven or eight into this square. Got a lot of pencil marking here, but not much in the way of, I suspect I'm missing something. Six, look, has to be in one of those squares. Five, five, seven, five, eight, seven. Uh, oh, look, look at that. This square can't be a four. This square can't be a four. This shape needs a four, so that becomes a four. Which I could have got from Sudoku, I'm just noticing. Um, down here, we've, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So, oh, that's a naked single. Can't be six, eight, or nine. That's got to be a seven. That means that's a seven. That's an eight. Um, that's seven, five, or eight. Six, nine. Ah, nine here. That must be a six. That's a nine. Four, six here. This is not seven. This has got to be four or five. Five, seven here. So this has to be eight, nine. Still, still can't quite crack it. This is not six. This is four or five. Ah! But, but that is good enough. Look, if we look at column three, four, five, six, triple. So that square must be a seven which means it's on the shape that bounces back into here. How do you set a puzzle like this? This must be seven now. Five, four. This four, five, six triple means that square's got to be an eight or a nine. The five here fixes the six, five pair up there. That fixes the eight, nine, six there. That fixes the eight, and I think we're gonna get there. Five, seven, eight, six, four, five, four, eight, nine. Let's go over there. Four, five, check. Yes. <laughs> oh, Fistema fell yet again. I have to say, these puzzles are just the biggest joy to me. I cannot tell you. Uh, thank you so much for creating yet another gem of a Sudoku. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me try to solve it. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.